What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and prove to you guys that AMC is going to run to the absolute moon very soon. I'm going to show you guys some potential evidence that AMC is going to run up just naturally with the IWM. I'm going to show you guys why I believe that and what under the cycle theory is basically showing. Now, before I get into any more details about this, before I prove to you guys that AMC has insane upside potential, I do have to mention some very important things first. The first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please. Please do not take this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me it benefits the entire ape community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description if you do sign up for Mumu and deposit hundred dollars you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks each worth up to three thousand five hundred dollars but you're also going to get a free neo share so if you want a free neo share guys check out the offer down below but that's out of the way let's get on with the video so this is known as the i wm or the russell 2000 amc is listed on the russell 2000 and some people have speculated that this has led to an anchor on amc bringing amc down and up depending on what the market is doing so what happened recently is the iwm started following the spy and amc generally starts to follow the iwm so my point is i'm not saying that you know it's all going to be exactly the same always but i am telling you guys that even without this you know the moas if you just don't worry about the moas right now amc is going to run up very soon even without the MOAS right now. Now, the MOAS is going to bring AMC much higher, in my opinion, but let's just not worry about that right now. Let's look at what I see AMC actually doing in the next upcoming weeks, maybe a month or two from now. And I'm going to show you guys this cycle theory. So this is basically how this works. There are many instances where small caps are going to outperform large caps, right? Large caps are companies like Tesla, companies like, I don't know, Apple, Microsoft, massive, massive companies. But then small caps include very smaller companies like AMC. I mean, some people consider AMC a mid cap. I'd say it's kind of like a small cap now considering it's market cap. But anyways, GME would also be included. Other things like BPIG. Small caps tend to outperform large caps during some cycles. Then large caps outperform. Then small caps. And they go back and forth and back and forth just like this, right? High volatility in the market. So what happened recently is the large caps have been outperforming the small caps. I'm sure you guys have noticed that for the last uh, upcoming months, I mean, the last few months. But what I see coming out very soon is a switch. I see small caps outperforming the large caps. I think a big comeback is coming. I think the bears are getting exhausted and the shorts can't keep AMC down for much longer because this thing really wants to run. I'm going to show you guys why I believe that. So for the last year, if you look at the last year, What's been happening to the IWM? If you look at the IWM, this thing ran up, right? It ran up around, I would say, close to January. That's near the time AMC ran up. Now, I'm not saying they're exactly the same. You guys know my points, but they, they, they tend to be correlated. And then what happened in the month of June? It dropped, and then when June came, this thing ran up to all-time highs. The same month, AMC ran up to its all-time high at the time in june okay then this thing drops and then it runs up to another all-time high for it this was like around september to october time right it starts running up again until november what happens to amc around september amc runs up it drops again we have another run up around november and then after here's the crazy thing after we start descending the iwm starts crashing and it, it really starts crashing. I wouldn't say it's here. I'd say it's maybe closer to, yeah, around November. That's when it starts crashing. From November to today, it's been dropping and dropping and dropping. What else has been dropping from November to today? AMC started descending really hard since that time frame. Because in September, we had that run-up. I'm sure you guys remember it. So it just goes to show that they tend to have things in common. They're not exactly the same. But remember, the shorts are also shorting the IWM, the Russell 2000. So what's going to happen in the future? And here's why I believe it's going to run up very soon. There's a cycle in this thing. Now, I could go really far back and show you guys everything, or I don't have to. But okay, in 2014, until 2014, this thing was running up. Then it starts to consolidate. Then it drops then it runs up and then look at this 2018 2018 is right here where the red line is 
2018, we drop for a few months, we consolidate, then we run up. 2020 comes, we drop, start to run up a little bit, we start this tiny consolidation phase, then we run up. Then 2022 comes, or close to 2022. That's when we see another drop. You guys noticed that, right? 2018, we drop. 2020, we drop. 2022, we drop. It's very strange that this keeps happening. But anyways, the, there is one thing that's a little bit different, and that is sometimes we consolidate first, and then we drop before we run up. But all three of these phases tend to come you know, one after another, but they could come in different orders. So an example is this. In 2014, before we had that drop, in 2014, we consolidated, then we dropped, then we ran up. And that's what I believe is going to come soon. So what's happening recently is 2020, we start to run up. 2021, we started consolidation phase first. Then in 2022, we start crashing. So what's next? Right? Let me show you the cycles to make this simple. We have a yellow line, a red line, and a bluish line. Again, red line, yellow line, blue line. Again, red line, yellow line, blue line. And now we saw the yellow line about a year ago. We saw the red line. What's left is the blue line. My point is, in the next few weeks, maybe a month or so from now, very soon, we're going to start running. The IWM is going to start running, guys. The cycle is confirmed. And when that starts running, AMC is going to run with it. AMC is going to start running up. Now, I'm not saying we're just going to mow ass you know, in a couple of weeks. We could, but I don't necessarily know if it's going to happen that quickly. I think the shorts are getting exhausted and we're going to see they're, what they're doing is they're making AMC run with the IWM, which is reflecting the SPY because soon the small caps are going to have a big run. It's coming. Remember the cycle, guys. Small caps outperform, then large caps, then small caps, then large caps. We're in the transition right now for the small caps to make a comeback. So. When do I think it's going to come? It's a little hard to tell because generally, if you look at the red cycles, this one, for instance, took like three, three and a half months. This red cycle took about, what is that? Four months, let's say four months in 2018. And uh, a long-term one in 2015 took between, what is that? About six months. So they generally take between three and six months. Well, this started in November. It has already been four months. So I would expect in less than, um, I would say less than a month, we're going to start running up. We're going to start to see small caps see that comeback. And what's going to happen is I'm going to try to draw this out. What I see coming for AMC, we might kind of trade sideways. And maybe it'll take a little bit longer because of Ukraine. But slowly but surely, we're going to start running up again. For, a couple, for many months, maybe almost an entire year, we're going to start ascending just like this very, very soon. And this means that AMC is going to follow too very soon on this upward trajectory. Now we could follow this midline generally, but this could be the next support. So AMC without the MOAS, without even accounting for the MOAS, soon AMC is gonna start running like this. It just slowly start to ascend. This is natural without the MOAS. And when bulls get control, when bulls get control and we start pushing this thing up and up and up, the shorts are going to try to keep it down. We're going to see crazy consolidation moments. And that may lead us to the MOAS like that. So I was just trying to give you guys an idea of what you should be expecting before the MOAS starts. I do expect a lot of green coming out for AMC. So I want to prepare you guys for that. 
because small caps, the cycle is coming. You just got to be patient. So anyways, I want to thank you all for listening. AMC is very manipulated. But remember, the shorts can keep this down forever. They're not going to keep this down forever. Eventually, the bulls are going to get controlled because they're exhausted. They're exhausted. And the time is going to come. Anyways, that's what I have for this one. Please enjoy your weekend. I'm very bullish for AMC. The MOAS is still on the table. So be patient, guys. Just wait it out and our day will come. I thank you all for listening. Have a great rest of the day and I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.